a runner, being strong means being able to maintain good posture and technique throughout the run, even the really long one. If a certain part of the body is weak, then other parts begin to compensate. This leads to two things. One, your running economy suffers, and two, your running technique changes, requiring more effort to maintain the pace. Changes in running form can also lead to injuries. Many running coaches recommend bodyweight exercises such as push-ups and planks or light weights to strengthen the legs with lunges and squats. But it isn't just the legs that need to be strong. A capable core means the runner is able to hold the upper body upright and minimize unnecessary side-to-side -side movement. Arms too are important in running. Their motion drives the legs. Think of the arms as the conductor. They set the pace for the orchestra, the rest of the body. That's why the ideal strength training routine for improving long distance running performance is one that primarily strengthens legs, but doesn't forget about the rest of the body. If you're completely new to strength training or it isn't a regular part of your workout routine, start by adding one to two weekly total body workouts to your training week. You can get a good workout in as little as half an hour with little or no equipment at all. For at-home workouts, just clear out some space for lunges, squats, sit-ups, and push-ups. Outdoors, head to a park and make use of a bench for step-ups and dips. Don't have time to plan your strength sessions? Don't worry. Polar's training guide, FitSpark, offers ready-made daily on-demand workouts that match your recovery and fitness level, as well as your training history. And it's all accessible on your watch. So now you know the basics of runner strength training. Next, I'll take you through a few great moves to build a runner's overall strength. All you need is a medium weight bar and some space around you. Depending on how you're feeling and what your goal for the workout is, you can do anywhere from one to three rounds of each move with 10 to 20 repetitions per move. Backward stepping lunge with tap or knee. Start with your feet right underneath your hips, the bar sitting on your shoulders and your knees slightly bent. Take a long step back until your back knee comes close to the floor and your front knee is at a 90 degree angle. Lift back up to start position and either tap the floor or bring the back knee forward and up. Be sure to lift your hips as you come back up. Deadlift. Stand with your feet hip width apart, knees slightly bent with your weight mostly on your heels. Keeping your back extended all the way from the nape of your neck to your tailbone, tip forward from the hips. Bring the bar just below knee height, then lift back up to standing. Keep your hips still and your knees soft. Moving lunge with tap or knee lift. From a standing position with the bar resting on your shoulders, Leap forward until your back knee almost touches the floor. Bring your back foot in either by tapping the floor or with a big knee lift and take a big step. Move forward alternating legs. Option, if you don't have a lot of space, replace the move with a forward stepping lunge. Start with your feet hip width apart and step forward until your back knee comes close to the floor and your front knee is at a 90 degree angle. Either step or kick yourself back up to starting position. Upright row and overhead press combination. Stand with your feet hip width apart, bar resting on your upper thighs and your hands just outside of your hips with your knuckles pointing forward. Slide the bar up your chest with your elbows leading the way, then flip your elbows under, catch the bar and press it up above your head. Lower back down to collarbone height with elbows pointing down then flip your elbows up and lower the bar down to starting position. Keep the bar close to your body, both on the way up and down. For more leg work, add squats when catching the bar, moving between upright row and overhead press. Sidestepping lunge with tap or knee lift. With the bar on your shoulders and your weight firmly on one foot, take a long step to the side to a squat while keeping your other leg straight. From a squat, push yourself back up to standing by either tapping the moving foot or lifting the knee. 